and a very warm good evening from India. Thank you, Chair, distinguished delegates. It's indeed an honor and pleasure for India to deliver the keynote remarks for the session on circular economy principles for cohesive action. The past two days have clearly demonstrated that on one hand, a circular economy is based on compelling and simple logic, yet in practical terms, it means different things to different people. The concerns are different. Among the many definitions for circular economy, India welcomes UNIDO's recognition that circular economy is above all an industrial economy. Indeed, governments and other stakeholders can help guide and shape the circular economy, but the circular economy can become a reality only when industries and businesses design and deliver circular products and services. A well-defined concept should underpin action. The definition of circular economy, therefore, should be understood and accepted widely. We believe that circular economy principles should be adopted as comprehensively as possible in as many sectors of the economy as possible and on all scales. First, in its basic form, the goal of circular economy is waste nothing. So let the practice begin. The terms reduce, reuse, recycle, refurbish, remanufacture, for example, have long been encapsulated in the 3R, 6R, 9R framework and as such are familiar to many. They have to become the starting point of a long journey, seeded and propagated widely, contextualized for the country, perhaps even sector-wise, using popular media platforms with simple and clear messaging. Secondly, we need to create platforms led by businesses, preferably, to build capacity and create awareness. These can lead the transition to circular economy even without waiting for the regulators or governments to make the first move. In India, Niti Aayog, the government's think tank, has recently identified 11 areas on which to focus transition to circular economy, beginning with solar panels as a product. India's automobile sector has a large and active segment in refurbishment and remanufacturing, which is fairly mature. Circular economy principles have been practiced in the sector for several decades. This is a great living example, providing thousands of jobs, extending product lifetimes, and encouraging growth in the MSME segment of the economy. Operational frameworks and strategic actions can guide companies as they navigate their circular transition in collaboration with buyers, vendors, and stakeholders through procreation of solutions. In India, uh, for example, the Circular April Innovation Factory is an Indian business-led initiative that brings together manufacturers, buyers, knowledge partners, and investors to bring the ecosystem for making the textile and apparel industry more circular. Its work is focused on the four themes that catalyze the transition to circularity. Decarbonization pathways, just transitions, green livelihoods, single-use plastics, filtrates, textiles ecosystem, and closing the loop on textile wastes. Cohesive action, the theme for the session, can be applied by businesses in different parts of the value chain and some industry practices and innovations which contribute to the circular economy in India and elsewhere are designing for circularity, efficiency and substitutions. Circularity has been operationalized in different arts which have very strong roots in Indian society as driven by frugality and a culture where nothing is wasted. In today's age, the R's need to be industrialized to deliver quality, sustainability, and offer good working, working conditions. Remanufacturing of automotive engines is relatively well established, and it is also emerging in medical devices. Textiles is another favorite where this uh, concept seems to be gaining a lot of ground. Where efficiency of use of resources is concerned, there is a solid knowledge base and industry practice in India and elsewhere for which credit is also due to UNIDO and other development partners. 
One promising example of scaling up is Green Co Initiative, which is led by the Confederation of Indian Industries. It has established a factory level rating scheme on the application of common resource efficiency techniques and management practices. Over 300 medium and large manufacturers are rated and are working to bring in their suppliers as well. Lastly, substitution concerns the move to use renewable or recovered resources. India is making speedy progress with the expansion of renewable energy and industries are contributing through several initiatives. Relatively abundant renewable materials offer new industry opportunities. Bamboo is a case in point for India, where many applications in furniture, construction, fabrics, and other energy generation is being promoted through National Bamboo Mission. We believe that narrow definitions may stifle and discourage industry action. India, therefore, favors cohesive action through diversity and co-creation. This may be possible with an operational framework that could focus on the triple actions of maximizing the use of renewable and recovered resources, relentlessly practicing efficiency of use of all products and processes, and facilitating perpetual use and recovering of the end of life materials. Following the conclusion of this global consultation, we would request UNIDO to consider fine tuning, promoting and facilitating implementation of such simple operational frameworks among the member states. Thank you very much for this opportunity. Namaskar.